some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in the courtroom of Judge Perkins as he, well, ends up taking on a real uh, know-it-all sovereign citizen who believes that he knows more than the man in the uh, judge's robe. But, of course, his knowledge of the law is quite lacking, and Judge Perkins destroys him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. City of Detroit versus Christopher Perry Lewis. Case number SP1510661. Appearance for the record, please. Sherika Harris on behalf of Mr. Lewis. Please state your name for the record. Uh, I'm not, I don't have an attorney. I'm representing myself. I articulated that at the last hearing. A legal genius you are not, because a good attorney would tell you that a man who represents himself in a, a court has a fool for a client. So let's go ahead and watch how this fool performs in front of the judge. Spoiler alert, not that great. Today is the date and time set for a Ring on the bench warrant. I'm going to enter not guilty plea on his behalf. I'm going to give him a zero dollar bond. Uh, Mr. Lewis, you said you were here last time. Uh, why, why, why did you miss your date? I actually didn't miss the date. I actually sent you a motion today to show you a proof that I was actually in the hearing and I was locked out of the hearing after an hour of waiting. Um, as well as I sent you a motion for dismissal as well. Um, I you sent it last today? week. I Yes, I sent it last week, but I resent it today, and I sent it in a uh, Zoom chat as well to the prosecutor, the clerk, reporter, as well as the clerk. I I didn't get that motion either of those motions. Uh, if you is there any way you 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 have available? Look at the Zoom message, right? I sent it to not only your email but the Zoom chat I as well. At, I need it in my email. I don't I don't have I don't. I, I don't send it twice. Zoom. I can tell you my email if you want to search it, but you should have it twice in your email. I resent it. What's uh, your email? email. What's your email? Uh, Chris, C-H-R-I-S-L-E-W-I-E, -E, Midtown, that's M-I-D-T-O-W-N, at Gmail. Chris, Chris, C-H-R-I-S-L, right? Yes, E-W-I-E. -E. So uh, the judge did not get it, apparently. I wonder if you uh, sent it at all. Maybe you forgot to hit the, hit the send button or something like that. Maybe a rookie mistake because you may not be familiar with all this newfangled technology or anything like that. That's a possibility. Okay, I'm uh, resending at the moment. I'm going to put my email address in the chat. And uh, make you know, it's, I'll put my email so you'll have it, and send that send that to me, and uh, we will I have, have an opportunity to read that. Um, I'll confirm that you sent. I'll wait to confirm that you send it to me, and I'll give you a date. The next court date is going to be a pretrial date on May the twenty eighth, twenty twenty four, at eight thirty. You need to get a copy of that to the city attorney as well. Yeah, uh, I'm actually just that, sending yeah, it to the prosecutor know. as well. Daya Mason, is that her? Yes. Prosecutor? Yes, I did uh, just send her attachment. If she could send me a, a confirmation that she received it. Get, get it to her email address. So, Mrs. Okay. Mason, you put your email address in the chat as well so Mr. Lewis can get you a copy of that. I really uh, appreciate that. Five of that motion. Both motions that have passed. All right. I'm going to wait on that. Once I confirm that you gave me that, uh, I will uh, recall the case. Well, after uh, the soft hard manages to clear this technological hurdle, he manages to send the email to Judge Perkins. And, uh, well, Judge Perkins reads the first couple of lines or so and uh, pretty much sees that. It's nothing but a bunch of jabberwocky, soft, tart, gobbledygook bullshit and uh, pretty much dismisses it as such. Which really doesn't hold up too well with this empty-headed buffoon. Let's go back on the record with Mr. Christopher Lewis. Um, I, 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 do re I have received this, this motion... 
And I read the first couple of lines of it um, and that I'm not concerned necessarily about the April, March 18th incident. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know what happened on that day, but you are here now. Um, so we'll move, we'll move forward. Excuse um, me, sir. I heard you say that you only read the first couple of lines. Is there any yes. way we could possibly take another case until you get the chance to uh, read the entire thing? It's only no, two pages. I can't. I'm not going to read this entire thing today. It's only like three paragraphs the entire thing. The rest are just case sightings. Which I'm sure is just a bunch of cherry-picked nonsense that you uh, pulled out of your ass to make yourself look like an intelligent man. Because when it comes right down to it, all you soft tards are good for is, uh, well, quote mining to say the least. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna deny the motion. I will set the matter for. Is a there trial. anybody get a written? Can you give? Can I get a written articulation as to why you're denying the motion? Is I'm denying the motion. Um, because I would just appreciate a written excuse. Can I get a written I'm not, articulation? I'm not, I'm not give it to you in writing. I will, what I will Are we do, on record? Are we on record? We're, we're on record. Okay. Uh, is this court bound by the U.S. Constitution and Supreme Court rulings? Yes. Okay. You were denying my motion when I uh, said that I had Fourth Amendment violations. And you're saying that you're denying my motion without looking into it or granting me a hearing to go over my motion or give me an articulation as to why, a written excuse as to why. I want to make sure that that's what you're saying to me. You're asking uh, uh, for a change of venue. I'm, I'm denying I'm saying that. I'm, I'm saying that I know there's a motion for dismissal. And I'm saying that you as an Article yeah. 1 judge under the Commerce Clause. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? Really, dude? Commerce Clause? Uh, dude, uh, you're looking in the wrong place. I mean, uh, Judge Perkins doesn't deal with uh, contracts and everything like that. Uh, that's another court. So basically, Judge Perkins is uh, living here on planet Earth while you're probably in the fourth dimension somewhere, well, acting like you think you know the laws of that land, too. If you're not going to uh, uphold my due process and my Fourth Amendment, I'm saying that maybe we could change venues where I could get a real judge. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Sorry, my lead paint drinking sovtard friend, but uh, yeah, just because you're not satisfied with uh, the judge and how he's ruling on your case doesn't mean that you can just outright ask for a change of venue to a different judge because I don't think the other judge will rule in your favor either because the judge, the other judge, lives in reality, not a fantasy land like you do. Okay, I'm denying a motion to dismiss. Okay, I'll set what I'll set is I'll set a trial date for you so you can be heard on that on that type of form. I um, insist that the court give me a, a a written excuse as to why you're denying my motion so I could take that to the tenor. Okay. Well, you can insist all you want to. Okay, I, I appreciate that, but I'm I'm, I'm telling you, you're telling me today why you're not going to look into it or give me a hearing. That's so I can go over the evidence that I have to present, to, to go with my motion. You don't want to do any of that. So I'm just asking that you can give me a written excuse that I could go take and complain against you on. Because that, that that's violating my due process. You didn't even give me the chance to say we're going to schedule an a evidentiary hearing or something like that. You're going to sit up here and, and disregard that when I made genuine claims and put genuine evidence in there. Overwhelming. Overwhelming evidence. Yeah, okay, sure. Whatever, dude. Uh, if it were overwhelming, I don't think that you would be sitting here right now because the case would definitely be dismissed if it were overwhelming. But, but seeing as how you're representing yourself and you probably have no idea what real evidence looks like, well, then uh, it probably wasn't that overwhelming to begin with. So at the end of the day, uh, like I said, there's no crime. This is a fraudulent charge. Y'all don't have, there's no suspect. There's no, y'all suspecting for no crime. There's no victim, no losses, okay? And in a minute, it's going to be malicious prosecution. So I'm, I'm asking you to dismiss this charge or change the venue. And if you refuse to do that, I'm asking you for a written excuse so I can take it to the tenor, sir. That's what I'm telling you. Because if not, I'm going to go to the tenor without it and let them know that you refuse to give me a, a, a written excuse and you refuse 
to give me an evidentiary hearing, but you just straight denied it. When you just five minutes ago, you said you didn't even read it. Now you just denied it. That's conflict of interest. That's bias. That's all that. So uh, let's let's put it all on record. If you feel just as strongly as you feel, give me a written excuse. If not, let's change venue because you're an Article One judge under the Commerce Clause. This conflict of interest, you only here to make money, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no crime. Uh, wait, ain't, no, ain't no victim or no man. walk, bro. I'm not Listen, hey, listen, hey, I'm not look, 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 sir. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Hey, sir. Respectfully, respectfully, you're an Article One judge under the Commerce Clause. You've been on the bench since what, 21? A couple years? You need to talk to somebody. Hey, Soft Heart, how's that view inside of your ass? Because you're not exactly in touch with the real world. So, my suggestion to you is to uh, go ahead and put your hands on your ankles, hold real tight. And pull your head out of your ass and take a look at how the world really works. Because what you're saying is a bunch of nonsense. I'm asking you to give me an evidentiary hearing to go over my motion for dismissal with the overwhelming evidence or change venue. Because if not, I'm going straight to the tenant right after this. And that's on you, sir. You had this. You did this. Oh, all right. All right. Now, I'll let you speak. Straight like that. No. That's all we need. I don't want to hear any more. Right, cool. It's cool. You made I'm your, not, I'm you not, made your, I appreciate you made it. You, this is this due process. That this this is a due process you. violation. This is a due process violation right now. And the way y'all tried to railroad me when I was ready to argue my trial. I told you I was here to argue my trial. Y'all locked me out. Mr. Now Mr. you're trying Lewis. to start the process over. Mr. They're Lewis. not prepared to present a case. I'm telling you. They're Mr. not prepared Harris, to present an injured party. So what are we doing? Listen. 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 Please do not say any more. You've already made your record. I've given you that opportunity. If you continue on, especially interrupting me while I'm talking, because I didn't interrupt you while you were talking. I'm not your bro. I'm not your man. And I'm not to be interrupted when I'm speaking. I gave you the respect and the right to speak. Just because you're unsatisfied with the, with the way that I ruled, then that's not my problem. You, you okay, take whatever recourse. Wait a minute. Let me say it. Let me say it. You take whatever recourse that you feel that is necessary. Now, what I can do, Mr. Lewis, is I can set you a jury trial date. And at that jury trial date, you will have an opportunity to represent yourself or do whatever you want to do and put all your proofs on the record by a jury of your peers, and you can argue it that way, okay? But Judge Perkins, uh, to a soft hard uh, jury of his peers means like-minded sovereign citizens who would, uh, well, be a bunch of uh, crown-munching morons just like him. I appreciate that, but I would still like a written... Um, you, get, you, you order the transcript. You order the transcript. It's in the transcript. The you you asked me to read the uh, couple of paragraphs that you made. Most of the paragraphs was referencing the uh, incident on March 18th. As you and I, and, and, and I'm not even d d debating or disputing it. I said I'm not concerned about March 18th or any missed date. Um, I said that. The most of what you're saying is in the it, 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 it's it's not uh you know I'm not even going to hold you to that but um, in paragraph two uh, I um, or I want to emphasize that the initial charge against me in this court is fraudulent I, I don't know that to be the case that's why I'm giving you an opportunity to uh, to 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 uh, to have a jury trial and they can make the determination, neither the complaining witness or the prosecution is prepared at any point of this case to present an injured party or any reported damages slash losses. So it becomes abundantly clear that every proceeding taking place is strictly an attempt to seek funds where there is no crime uh, and not seek real justice. So we are giving you real justice because if you say that there's been no crime, then you have a right to a trial. And that's what I'm giving you. So I was assaulted, detained, and my property illegally searched and seized with no suspicion of crime at the hands of the complaining witness, Joshua Martin, and assisting officers. I do not consent to these fraudulent proceedings and demand that the court dismiss the charge 
immediately with the appropriate remedies. Um, and I'm just I'm dismissing the motion uh, uh, on, on based on that because I am giving you a proper forum to argue your case um, uh, uh, or allow me the right to uh, change the proper venue of a of, of federal court where my U.S. constitutional rights will be upheld and not disregarded by Article One judge under the Commerce Clause. I don't understand that. Okay, so uh, I decided to go look this up because I keep on hearing him say Article One judge every few minutes. So basically what that is, is it's Article One of the Constitution, which is a federal judge. But soft heart, this is a state level crime that you are being accused of. So therefore the Tenth Amendment applies in this particular situation because it gives the states the rights to create laws that are not covered in the Constitution. Therefore, the uh, Michigan judicial system has jurisdiction over you at this point, not the federal, you freaking moron. Indicate, indicating a clear conflict of interest, I do not wish to proceed with this matter. You don't have to proceed any further because I'm dismissing the case. He did cite some case law. Um, uh, it was at a Sherrard v. Cullen, uh, 481 Federal 2nd, 945. For a crime to exist, there must be an injured party, uh, 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 corpus delecti, there can be no sanction or penalty imposed on one because of the U.S. constitutional right. Um, Louisville versus Motley, 211 U.S. 149, uh, South uh, 29 S. Period Court CT 42. Any tribunal court finds absence of proof of jurisdiction over a person or subject matter, the case must be dismissed. The accuser bears the burden of proof beyond a reasonable doubt. All right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm dismissing the motion, all right? And you can get a copy of that record uh, uh, on um, of, of what we just made uh, by uh, going through the proper channels of the court to get the uh, court reporter to produce that record. I can't even get the court reporter to respond to my voice messages or you to respond to my email, the sir. He's not going to respond to your voice messages. The court reporter is going to respond to you coming the 36th down. 36th district told me to call her today that I was locked out of my trial date. I had a scheduled trial. The court told me to call her that day and I call her that day and I, she still hasn't responded. So I'm trying to see if you, if the court that you work for is trying to tell me think, how the appropriate channels and y'all doing about, it different in y'all court, what am I to do? I you know? think you're talking about, I think you're talking about the court clerk and not the court reporter. This, this, this is distinct. Yeah, I was told different. to call the clerk the day that I was locked okay. out, the moment I was locked so out. So we, we, we moved past that Getting locked no, out. Yes, yeah, so I'm How giving you another. How soon can I get another trial date, sir? How soon can I get another trial date? That's what I'm asking. That's what we're trying to do now. I'm giving him a jury trial. A jury trial. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let the jury of his peers hear what he has to say. Oh boy, I can really see it with the jury of his peers when they see how stupid this guy is, and uh, well convict him on the charges, well, then he'll probably cry foul and demand another uh, trial by jury because they were biased against him because they weren't exactly a jury of his peers, which are supposed to be soft hearts just like him. I could see that happening. July 23rd, 2024, at, uh, at 9 a.m. Um, July 23rd? Uh, yeah, 2024 at 9 a.m., We'll have a final pretrial the day before. Um, all why, why would we need a final pretrial? Why would we need a final pretrial? Because I said I wanted one. But that's how you're protecting parties. your interest. You're protecting your interest, and you're going to dismiss it on that day. So you're trying to play with me. You could dismiss oh, it today. Right? You literally, is, you literally, look, you literally, but a final pretrial You violate my due process. You can't even give me a written excuse, but you're going to all this whole. Mr. Lewis, I know you don't want counsel, but is it possible we could talk in a breakout? Hey, hey, excuse me, ma'am. I do. Excuse me, ma'am. I am in pro se. I'm in pro se. Go wherever you want to. Final pretrial of I am. July I am. It's all good. I, I, I am. Final date is going to be July 23rd. All the parties must appear on the final pretrial day, and the draw and, uh, and the jury and that can be on Zoom. And the next day, the, the the trial jury trial date is in person. Have a very good day, Mr. Green. Best of luck to you. That's not my name. 
Put him out the room, please. Well, I can't wait to see this uh, trial in July because I'm sure it'll be most entertaining when this guy stumbles around his arguments and can't tell his head from his ass when he ends up getting completely dis dismantled by the prosecution and, well, can't figure out how to handle it. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?